Hello guys, in this video I will help you to do your best damage to the new boss Rainbow Win. As you can see guys, I haven't played on this account yet, but I played on another account. And I must say that it's not really easy to survive all 3 minutes. So in this video guys, besides helping you to do your best damage, I will help you to survive all 3 minutes. Ok guys, let's start. As main weapon as always guys, use kunai and try to make sure you can as fast as you can. Beside making shuriken fast, try to make destroyer. Here we have a new boss. From the first seconds guys, if you're using eternal boots, then try to be closer to that boss, so the trail of fire will do good damage. The problem with this boss is that from 1 minute and 30 seconds, it will start flying away very often. As a result, you do higher damage in the first minute and 30 seconds, not from minute 1 and 30 seconds. That's why you need to focus more on doing damage to that boss than collecting biofuel. In fights with previous bosses, it was better to collect biofuel at first and then to do damage. But this boss is different as previous ones. If you have and using legendary Void Waker Tets, it will be a little easier for you because there's no need to be close to the boss. Anyway, in this case, I think that it's better to use Eternal Boots than Void Waker Tets. Because most of the time, around 2 minutes, the trail of fire will be doing damage to that boss. The next scene, which will help you to do higher damage with legendary Void Waker Tets and will help you to survive in the last minute, is Way Sensor. Way Sensor in Ender's Echo is very useful, because when your health below 50%, it will reduce damage on 20%. And in case with legendary Void Waker Tets, which increase proportionate damage against enemies with lower movement speed, when your health is over 50%, Way Sensor will increase your movement speed on 20%. So as you understand guys, Way Sensor in combination with Legendary Void Waker Tets will increase your damage. Ok guys, as you can see, I'm committing a suicide, I'm dying on purpose, because I'm using Eternal Suit. Unfortunately my Eternal Suit is not Legendary yet, so I die only once. As a result, I get plus 15% to attack. But if you're using a Legendary Eternal Suit, die 2 times, so you'll get higher increase in attack. Besides increasing attack, Eternal Suit increases movement speed, which is very useful with Legendary Void Waker Threads. Glows of course Eternal, and Necklace Eternal as well. Ok guys, we have 1 minute and 30 seconds behind, and remember this number, 4 billion and 300 million. It is damage I did in the first half of this battle. In the end of this battle, you will see that this damage will be higher than the damage I will do in the second half. The reason is very simple, this boss flies away very often. Till the second minute, don't really care about projectiles, they are not doing enough damage to easily kill you. But from minute 2, especially in the last 30 seconds, be more careful. Would be great if you have a rowing suit and fitness guide at least 1 or 2 stars. Believe me guys, it will really help you. Yeah, I don't like to choose these skills in Ares Echo either, but in this case, they, they are kinda useful. Just look how many projectiles we have, plus that lightning or, or laser. It's just not possible to avoid them, so weight sensor with throwing suit and fitness guide 1 2 stars will really help you here. From pets, use Kroki if you have it epic or legendary, but if you have only excellent pets, use Ornimo or Rex. Both of them are really good, Rex will increase your crit rate and crit damage. While Nemo will give you 1-3 extra skills. By the way guys, who doesn't know, if your pet dead, revive your pet. Cause when it dead, it doesn't matter, passive skills or active skills, all of them become inactive. As a result, for example from Kroki, you will not get plus 3% damage to skills. Ok guys, we have the last seconds, my first run on this account, and I did a little over than 7 billion, 7.5 billion damage. Let's take a look on damage statistic. As always, Shuriken and Destroyer did the highest damage. As you can see guys, against this boss, it's possible to make Destroyer besides Shuriken. Let's claim the chest, Tsukiyomi, short for Tsukiyomi, and what place I am. First run and I'm at the fifth place. Not bad guys, let's play again and let's see. Maybe I'll be in top 1. 
Anyway, I will definitely be on the second place, if not top 1. When you don't have good skill to choose at the beginning, for example, kunai, drone, or I don't know, power bullet, then refresh skills. It's better to have a good skill at the beginning than a bad one. Unfortunately, when I refreshed, I didn't get a good one. Here we have drone type A and type B. So I have everything to make destroyer. Okay, I'll choose magnet and ninja scroll. I have everything to make shuriken and to make destroyer. At the beginning, what we get if you'll have magnet, it will help you to gain skills a little faster. By the way guys, today in this video you saw that I finally unlocked the last talent, Omni Gravity, which increases loot rage on 100%. It works like Magnet 1 Star, really useful skill for Ender's Echo. Yes guys, I finally decided to unlock this talent. As you can see, in my second run I am getting really good skills, needed skills, or bullet, ninja scroll. So maybe I will do higher damage. Let's see guys. I can start getting bad skills. If you remember guys, I made sure you can in my first run in less than a minute. And now it's over 30 seconds. And as you saw guys, most damage you do in the first half of a battle. So it's very important to make sure you can as fast as you can. Unless you will do lower damage. Looks like that in this run I will make sure you can later. Because as I remember, at 40 seconds, I already got Shuriken in the first run. I just chose Energy Cube, it's 2 stars now. It is also a good skill for NS Echo, it will let you to shoot more projectiles. I will choose Magnet again. I could choose Boomerang, but Boomerang is not doing good damage, it will do like a few millions damage. It's not really significant damage, and Magnet can help me to gain needed skill. Like Kunai or another drone. Oh, and here we have Kunai. Kunai 4 stars, so will I make Shuriken? Looks like that in this run I will do less damage because it's almost 1 minute and 30 seconds and I don't have Shuriken yet. Power Bullet, really nice. I always choose this skill as a priority skill unless, unless I have a Kunai to choose. Or Ninja Scroll 1, 2 stars. 1 minute and 30 seconds are behind and still no Shuriken. What can I say? Bad RNG guys, it happens, it happens to all of us. That's why I like to show two of my runs in NS Echo, as when I make a video. So we can see how I'm playing, what I choose. And as you can see, I'm not always that lucky with skills. And here we have a situation where my Kroki died. So as I told you, you need to revive your pet and to get back all these passive effects. I mean skills that your pet gives you. Okay, here we have the last minute and unfortunately guys, I haven't made shuriken yet. And it looks like I will not make it. No kunai, again. But you can see guys, that the damage is not really that bad. 4 billion damage. In my first run, I did almost 8 billion damage. And now it looks like I will do... I'll do 4-5 billions damage. Power bullet 5 stars, it will definitely help me to do little hard damage. Yeah, if I would have shuriken at the beginning, I, I think I would... I would do higher damage in this run. But unfortunately guys, no shuriken, not even kunai 5 stars. And the last 10 seconds. Where is the boss? Oh, here, here it is. And guys, I did almost, almost 5 billion damage. As always, the highest damage did kunai and drones. Not really bad, guys. Due to the fact that I didn't make shuriken and destroyer, I did around 3 billion damage less. And unfortunately, guys, I'm not top 1. I'm in the second place. Anyway guys, it's only the first day, I still have time to be top 1. Which I wish you all. Thank you for watching guys.